you know, my dad is a geology professor and they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but oddly I took quite a different route to critical minerals. Um, about 12 years ago I did a Fulbright through the U.S. State Department to South Africa and I actually ended up in the platinum belt where three-fourths of the world's platinum sits. And I was so fascinated I went back to do a PhD at Cambridge on platinum and once you do that you never go back. So I started a great career in critical minerals. There are two drivers. The first is, is geopolitics. Historically, we have been heavily reliant on China for these minerals, and as China has cut off access to them, the United States realizes it needs these minerals and from new places. But the second thing is that we also just need a lot more minerals. Think about the minerals that we need for everything from artificial intelligence to semiconductors to defense to other new technologies. So we need it for a lot more industry. So we need more of it from more places, which means we need a lot more dirt and rocks from underground. There are three skills we really need. First is technical competence. Nothing replaces a strong education in geosciences. But the second thing is to be able to work in policy, you also need to be able to communicate to regular people, people who are not geoscientists. When we go into Washington, we can't expect people in the White House or Congress or other agencies to be geoscientists. So how do you communicate that in a way that is short, concise, and understandable is a really important skill. And the third thing is being able to write concisely. Sometimes we get lost in just doing academic journals. And while academic journals are crucial for disseminating research, being able to turn that into a policy relevant memo is a really important skill. So if you have the technical understanding and you can communicate it effectively through both writing and speaking clearly, you would be really surprised at where that'll take you in the world of minerals policy.